Oh. Our next item in our series of homebrew test gear is an RF power meter. Actually, a combined RF power meter and dummy load. This one's got a big meter scale and a selection of either 20 watts full scale deflection or 2 watts full scale deflection. I'll show you the circuit later on, but first of all, we'll try it with the FT817 and see if it still works. Oh, oh, oh. We'll start off with 160 meters. Oh, oh. Oh, 40 meters. Oh, oh, 20 meters. Oh, oh, 15 meters. Oh, oh, 10 meters. Oh, oh, 6 meters. Oh, oh, 2 meters. And here I'm on SSB. We'll just try putting it onto other modes like FM and AM much less which is how it should be I had no 70 centimeter equipment when I built this meter oh oh and it looks like it's reading a bit over on 70 centimeters but still pretty good this was on the 20 watt power level what we'll now do is we'll drop our power with the FT817. Oh, oh, that's a two and a half watt setting. Oh, oh, oh. This is the one watt setting. Oh, oh, and it's reading pretty close to one watt. Oh, 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 and this is on the two watt scale. Oh. And it's still pretty good. Oh, oh, and this is on the 500 milliwatt. Oh, again, 500 milliwatt is half scale. Having a look inside, and the first thing you notice are all these resistors. A lot of resistors in series and parallel to provide a 50 ohm dummy load. The reason there's so many of them is so that you've got enough power handling capacity to take a 20 watt signal. This is the RF input socket and right near it, I've been very careful to keep leads short, is a germanium diode then a disc ceramic to ground, then an RF choke and another capacitor. By this time the output is DC. And moving along there are two resistors, one here and one here. The higher value resistor is for the 20 watt position and the lower value of resistor is for the 2 watt position. I would have applied a DC voltage across the antenna socket and with Ohm's law worked out the power that would be dissipated in the resistors and accordingly calibrated the meter. The resistors that you use depends on the full scale deflection of the meter. This is the circuit, the RF input, 50 ohms worth of resistors, 25 watts, OA95, 0.001 disc ceramic capacitor, and another one of the same value, 470 microhenry RF choke, not critical, and then here in the top right, are the two lots of resistors that you select for the RF power range. And finally on the far right is the 200 microamp meter movement. This is about the simplest possible RF power meter. It wouldn't be accurate for SSB. For that you'd need a more sophisticated PEP RF power meter, probably with a battery and an op amp. Nevertheless, meters like these are very useful for those who build equipment, particularly CW gear. Oh.